See that? Synchro meter. S-Y-N-C-H-R-O meter. This is a, back, a gauge that you can buy. You can buy this tool and you can buy lots of them on eBay. I'm sure there's a lot of other places you can get them. Uh, it's a vacuum gauge. It's a flow measuring gauge is what it is. It's not a vacuum gauge. It's a flow measuring gauge. You put one, you put the mouthpiece on your carburetor and the gas flows through it, through all these big holes. And through there and moves a little needle. See the orange needle? It tells you how much air is moving through there. And you can sync your carburetors up. Now when you get this thing, you have to trim a couple of millimeters off the nose or it won't fit in your RG carburetors because the, the thing projects so far that it hits the slide and you won't get a good seal around the edge. Just trim a little off. It's only a couple of millimeters. And if you trim off too much, you have to go get another one. They're, these things are about 20 bucks. Okay, so what you do now you've gone done all your static adjustments on the bike. So you want to now you want to do an adjustment with the engine running. I'm doing with talking you through this with the engine off because it's just too loud with the engine going. You can't hear it. You couldn't hear what I'm saying. So you've got get the engine started, and first thing you do is you have you got your throttle cable bungee up your throttle stop thing. But it's kind of frictiony. What you can do is just drop it all the way to the bottom. Now you're going to adjust the idle. So you start the bike, start the bike up, and then you adjust the throttle stop screws on every carburetor. Now on the front carburetor, front two carburetors have these throttle stop screws. They aren't mentioned in the shop manual, but they're there anyway, right here. See this screw? It doesn't have a neural knob on it like the back carburetor does, but it does the same thing. It goes in, and when you turn this, when you turn it, it goes in and makes the slide go up and down a little bit. So you start the bike up, and then you stick the, stick the flow meter in there, and I can't do, I've only got two hands. Then you Hold the flow meter in while you're adjusting the throttle stop screws and you get them all turning at the same vacuum and at a nice idle rate you like. And then you've got the throttle stop screws done. And the next thing you do is open the carburetors a little bit while the engine's running. I just open them a little bit. just want to get a fast idle here so it's what you want to do is take all the slack out of the throttle cables. That's all you're trying to do. So you get a little fast idle, and then you go around, you stick the gauge in again. And while you're, the gauge is in, then you adjust the throttle cable adjusters up here on all four carburetors. Okay? And then when you get that all done, then of course you have to tighten up the lock nuts. And when you get them all adjusted, shut off the engine, Adjust all the lock nuts up, and then you're done with everything except the idle air screws. The idle air screws are these little guys. Here's the one in the front carburetor, and here's the one on the back carburetor. And I'm going to do another video about adjusting the idle air screws because it's, it takes a while in these videos. Have to be pretty short or people lose interest. So that's that's it. That's all your static adjustment. That's as much as they ever tell you to do in the manual. Well, they do tell you to set these one and a half turns out from gently bottomed. So I hope you've already done that too. Okay, hold it. We're done with this step. To adjust those air screws, you have to need to ride the bike.